Let's take a lake that has fish in it, okay? Temperature drops outside, and the lake slowly begins to get cooler because there's a ten- time lag between the air temperature and the waters. That's why the first freeze, the, the lake is still there. The water gets cold on the surface, and it begins to shrink. So that water falls, it shrinks. That makes it denser, it falls to the bottom. Fine. It does that down to about four degrees Celsius. As it goes from four degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius, the freezing point, it begins to expand and become less dense than the water. So now, as the water wants to actually freeze, it stays on top. When it does freeze, you freeze the top surface of the lake. Well, how about the water below it? It's insulated from the dropping air temperature and the fish don't die. Imagine if ice were denser than water. What would happen? You'd freeze the top layer, it would sink. The bottom is frozen. Freeze the next layer, it sinks. And fish would be systematically forced to swim in shallower and shallower waters until they were all freeze-dried on the top surface of the lake.